Hello, my name is David Gill. I'm the City of Concord Parks and Recreation Director. I'm here to talk about July 4th. A lot of folks are really excited about coming to Memorial Field. They enjoy the fireworks celebration for you know, 20 or 30 minutes, and before that it's an hour of concerts and music. But have you ever thought about what it takes to plan the July 4th celebration? Our planning starts several months ahead of time. Obviously, we have to contract with the July 4th company. Uh, we also have meetings with the police and the fire department. We do hire over 20 police officers. Uh, we also have to coordinate with the state um, for the state permits, the fireworks permits, fire marshal, and obviously we also take care of all the road closure requests around Memorial Field. So it does take a true team approach to uh, bring you July 4th celebration. Uh, we work very closely with the police department, general services department, the fire department, and the state of New Hampshire to make sure uh, we bring you a great event. And we also plan several months ahead of time. We talk to the food vendors. We arrange the baseball schedule for American Legion to play. Um, so it is something that takes three, four, five, six months of planning. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this year's show. And uh, hopefully next year you'll join us for Memorial Field at, uh, for our annual July 4th celebration. Also another thing that folks may not realize is the prior planning, um, especially this year with Hurricane Arthur coming up the coast, um, we have all these decision points built into the plan. Um, so we look at severe weather, we look at uh, first aid and CPR and what's best for the, uh, for the public. So this year we've been extremely challenged. Everybody's talking about Hurricane Arthur coming up the coast. We have a rain date of July 5th. Um, so when we have to think about postponing, it takes a lot of coordination with obviously the police overtime, the fire department, fireworks company um, and we're here to try to make sure that you have the best possible experience so um, this year um, hopefully we have everything on the July 4th but it does look like a challenge um, and if anybody has questions on July 4th as we go forward always check out the Parks and Recreation website ConcordParksAndRecreation.com or check us out on Facebook and a lot of this planning also goes in effect for all of our summer camps summer concerts special events um, but July 4th is the big one of the year so hopefully uh, you had a really great time. Hi, I'm Dan Andrus. I'm the Fire Chief of the City of Concord, and I want to wish everyone a very safe and happy Independence Day celebration this year. To make sure that your Independence Day is as safe and happy as it could be, I want to offer a few tips. First of all, please go enjoy the public fireworks. It's going to be a great show. Our Parks and Recreation Director, David Gill, has worked hard for months to make this the best ever show for Concord, and you are at the safest and and at the best show when you go and see what the city has put together. Now having said that, if you do choose to light your own fireworks, remember that you must be 21 years or older to purchase fireworks and also to display those fireworks. One thing I want to caution you about, keep kids away from fireworks. That is a recipe for disaster having a small child with a lighted firework in their hand. Even a sparkler can reach 1200 degrees and the child can be seriously burned by something as simple as a sparkler. Also remember, always keep an extinguishing method at hand, either a fire extinguisher or a bucket of water or something to put those, those fireworks out. Never ever attempt to relight a firework that hasn't gone off. And remember to dispose of those safely in a way where they're not going to go off or start a fire that will be at your home at two o'clock in the morning. Thank you for your time. And again, a very, very happy Independence Day to all of you.